Hey, this is uh, Mr. Gray, your care center counselor and teacher here at Poly High School. I wanted to welcome you to our presentation. And really how we're going to get down is we're going to talk about how our community can get stronger together. So let's get started. First off, um, this is a self-awareness skill. It's like one of the most sought after skills for when you get after um, high school and um, college. They want you to be able to do this for yourself all the time. So we're going to do an empathy, self-awareness, self-assessment. And I'm going to read you uh, a phrase, a sentence, and I want you to answer it, please. Never, sometimes, mostly, always. Just to yourself, all right? I'm going to go really fast. So think quickly. I often think about others' feelings before I act. So you're going to answer to yourself. Never, sometimes, mostly, always always. All right, number two, when other people are being made fun of, I can imagine what it feels like to be in their shoes. I give up my own time to listen to others about what they are going through. Like for real, be honest with yourself. That's what this is all about, right? I try to understand other people's point of view before responding to their comments or questions. I accept that not everyone reacts to situations the way I do. And then lastly, I try to do something to help others who are in a tough circumstance rather than just say something, right? So think about those um, answers, those responses that you did, and let's move forward. Today, for this presentation, what are we trying to learn? We're learning effective communication, pro-social skills, characters, values, right? Respect for cultural and individual differences, self-esteem development, assertive, assertiveness skills, that's like leadership stuff, and appropriate online behavior. Those are all critical skills for college and career and even after. Knowledge of district and board policy related to bullying and sexual harassment, all right? Why? Because as you grow older, as you mature, you bear greater responsibility for the choices that you make. And your choices determine how others view you. And our choices have consequences, right? Good or bad. And then how are we going to do this? We're going to work on choosing empathy. All right. And that empathy is going to be explored by observing situations, the perspective of others, and our own thinking through activities and discussion. All right. Here we go. I'm going to ask you to watch this video, please. And as you watch it, like consider how was empathy shown and what was the result of the empathy on the three main characters of the video, Michael, who was being bullied, Christopher and Antoine, and just use the chat to reply. New football players going above and beyond by donating clothes to a teen bullied by classmates. The teen says he was bullied for wearing the same clothes every day to school. Alexa Rodriguez has this story. Awesome. The best day of my entire life was basically. Freshman Michael Todd was taken out of third period at MLK Prep Monday morning. I was very happy. I was shocked completely. He froze when football players Christopher Graham and Antoine Garrett handed him a gift. You guys are awesome. A gift that changed Michael's entire school year. Bags full of shirts, shorts, shoes, and more. He went smile and I was like, yeah, I think this is going to make him smile. I told him, I said, you know, when we was in the same Third period, he was like, yeah, I said, I apologize for laughing at you, and I want to give some to you to make it up. Michael was getting made fun of for three straight weeks at his new school. I didn't bully my entire life. He would wear the same clothes every day, and students at MLK Prep would mock him for it. No, I don't really have clothes at home. My mom can't buy clothes for me because I'm growing too fast. When I saw people laugh at him and bully him, I feel like I needed to do something. So Christopher went through his closet and grabbed a bunch of clothes and texted his friend Antoine for help. I got some shoes, some brand new shoes I can give him, and I got a couple of items I can give him too. They packed all that up and gave it to Michael. The shorts, the pants, the shoes made a difference. This is like the second shoes I have on right now. Basically, that's all. Today, Michael was already wearing those new army green sneakers they gave him. It was a weak moment for me. I was going to cry. 
And then I don't cry when at lunch he told me, he was like, you know, you two the only two that actually ever give me a gift. The help isn't stopping in the halls of MLK Prep. People from states away have seen the video and want to send Michael clothes. All this is thanks to two high school students who want to put a stop to bullying. Y'all guys are the best guys of my entire life. In Frazier, Alexa Lorenzo, Fox 13 News. That is wonderful. You see just how much it means for them to give, too. Mm -hmm. That is really something. Right? So, look. Man, that's what we're working to build here at Poly, a community where we take care of each other. So, how do we show empathy, like for real? How do we do that? Well, empathy is connecting to the feeling under the experience, right? Not the experience itself. So, empathy, it takes some vulnerability. It's not easy, right? It's a choice. I have to connect to something in myself that knows that feeling, and what it does is it validates the other person's perspective and it's totally non-judgmental. And it's really a way that we can try really hard to understand another person's feelings. And number four, it lets you communicate your understanding of their feelings, right? And it's a, a word mindfulness, which really means paying attention. It ensures that I'm not minimizing or exaggerating emotions, like I'm really paying attention to that person. And there's a big difference between what I call empty empathy. So empty empathy is just like, wow, I really kind of know what they're going through. And then you go about your day, right? Or there's action empathy, which is, man, they really going through it. How can I help? What can I do? So that's what we're really going for. Bullying. A person is bullied when he or she is exposed repeatedly over time to negative actions on the part of one or more persons, and he or she has difficulty defending him or herself. The definition includes three important components. One, bullying is aggressive behavior that involves unwanted negative actions. Two, bullying involves a pattern of behavior repeated over time. Three, bullying involves an imbalance of power or strength, such as behavior includes direct physical contact, such as hitting or shoving, Verbal assaults, such as teasing or name-calling, and social isolation or manipulation. Most common types of bullying among children and adolescents. Number one, physical. Includes hitting, kicking, pinching, punching, scratching, spitting, other physical aggression, and damage to or theft of someone else's belongings. Two, verbal. Includes name-calling, insults, racist, sexist, or homophobic jokes, remarks, or teasing, usually of sexual, suggestive, or abusive language, threats of violence, and offensive remarks. Number three, relational slash social. Includes spreading untrue stories about someone, excluding someone from social groups, social isolation, and being made the subject of malicious rumors. Four, cyberbullying. Covers any type of bullying that is carried out via an electronic media such as text message, cell phone calls, pictures or video clips, via mobile phone cameras, emails, chat rooms, social networking sites and apps, and other websites. Board policy, non-discrimination slash harassment. The board prohibits at any district school or school activity unlawful discrimination, harassment, intimidation, and bullying of any student based on the student's actual or perceived race, color, ancestry, national origin, immigration status, nationality, ethnic group identification, ethnicity, age, religion, actual or potential marital, parental or family status, physical or mental disability, sex, sexual orientation, gender, gender identity, or gender expression or association with a person or group with one or more of these actual or perceived characteristics. 10 ways to respond to bullying in the moment. One, walk away. If possible, remove yourself from the situation immediately. Two, say stop. If it feels safe, tell the aggressor to stop in a firm but calm way. If you feel confident, use humor or clever response to weaken the effect of the main behavior. Three, keep cool. Try to control your emotions. Fear or anger may egg on the aggressor. Four, don't fight. Try not to fight or bully back. This continues the cycle of bad behavior. After the incident. Five, tell a friend. Don't keep bullying a secret. Tell a friend and ask for support. Six, report to an adult. Tell a trusted adult what has happened. Remaining silent will not make things better and may worsen the situation. 
reporting a serious problem is not the same way as tattling or snitching. Adults need to know about bullying behavior so they can support you and take action to stop it. Over time, find safe spaces. Try to avoid danger zones where bullying is likely to take place and where there are a few adults who can help. Surround yourself with supportive friends or classmates. Number eight, practice responding. Reflect on how you might react to bullying in the future and rehearse those responses with a trusted friend or adult. This about what strategies have worked or fallen short. Don't give up if your first response is not successful. Number nine, express your feelings. Keep a diary or a journal written, electronic or video to record your private thoughts and feelings. Number 10, reach out. Find new friends, hobbies, or interests that occupy your time in a positive way and make you feel good about yourself. Avoid spending too much time on your own. Cyberbullying. Cyberbullying includes the transmission of harassing communications, direct threats, or other harmful texts, sounds or images on the internet, social media, or other technologies using a telephone, computer, or any wireless communication device. Cyberbullying also includes breaking into another person's electronic account and assuming that person's identity in order to damage that person's reputation. If you are a target of cyberbullying, save evidence. Keep copies or take screenshots of bullying, texts, emails, and other communications. Don't respond. Do not communicate with aggressors. If necessary, an adult can reply with a strongly worded message warning them to stop. Report. Tell an adult about the incident, and if necessary, contact the website, internet service provider, and or law enforcement officials. Block. Guard against future bullying by blocking aggressors from your social media pages and email by changing your email address, screen name, phone number, and passwords as needed. Find supportive groups. Find new online groups and games in which people are friendly, positive, and supportive. Quit groups where mean or aggressive behaviors occur often. Sexual harassment. Sexual harassment is against the law in all schools in California. Education code 200-212.6-489-00.2 and in the United States under Title IX. Sexual harassment includes verbal, visual, or physical conduct of a sexual nature which may have a negative impact upon the victim's academic or work performance or creates an intimidating, hostile, or offensive educational slash work environment. Examples of sexual harassment. Physical, unwanted touching, fondling, patting, hugging, pinching, kissing, brushing up against the body, obscene gestures. Verbal, questions or comments about a person's sexual behavior, sexually oriented jokes, comments about a person's body, Conversations filled with sexual innuendos and double meanings, bashing due to sexual orientation. Nonverbal, leering, staring, or oogling in a sexual demeaning manner, gesturing and making lewd motions with one's body. All right, what should I do if someone I know is being sexually harassed at school? All right. Students do not have to endure sexual sexual harassment or just ignore it. Mm -mm, that's not what we that's not what we're doing here at Poly. All right. Talk to a trusted adult at school or home when they believe that they, they have observed sexual harassment, even if the target doesn't want to report it. We need us to stand up for us. That's what we need. What are some of the effects of bullying? So in the chat, as I go through them. Think back to the, the video with Michael who had been bullied, right? So in the chat, you can put A, B, C, D. You can put all of them, one of them, like whatever you think, all right? So here's the effects of bullying. A, it places a student in fear of harm to person or property. B, causes a student to experience a substantially detrimental, that's a negative effect on his or her physical or mental health. C, it causes a student to experience substantial interference with his or her academic performance. And then D, causes a student to experience substantial interference with his or her ability 
to participate in or benefit from the services, activities, or privileges provided by a school. All right, now we want you to see some statistics. First, the nationwide stuff. Did you know? Nationwide, 19% of students in grades 9 through 12 report being bullied on school property. That's one out of every five students. Among students ages 12 through 18 who reported being bullied at school during the school year, 15% were bullied online or by text. 41% of students who reported being bullied at school indicated that they think the bullying would happen again. A higher percentage of male than of female students report being physically bullied, 6% versus 4%. A higher percentage of female than of male students reported being the subject of rumors, 18% versus 9%. And being excluded from activities on purpose, 7% versus 4%. Students who experience bullying are at increased risk for depression, anxiety, sleep difficulties, lower academic achievements, and dropping out of school. Poly statistics. Over 700 students surveyed 2019. Have you ever been sexually harassed? 30.2% said yes. 69.8% said no. Have you ever been bullied? 44.4% said yes. 55.6% said no. If you were to witness another student being bullied or sexually harassed, would you have intervened or tried to stop it? 84.7% said yes, 15.3% said no. Do you feel safe from bullying or sexual harassment on the public campus? 60% said yes, 40% said no. Have you ever witnessed some, someone being bullied or sexually harassed on the public campus? 40.3% said yes, 59.7% said no. If there was a confidential way to report bullying or sexual harassment, would you use it? 80.7% said yes, 19.3% said no. All right, and now we'd like you to really watch this video and see where you fit in and what you would be doing in this situation. Scrawny, chubby, short, queer. Getting caught up in bullying, it's so easy because you're just glad that you're not being bullied. It's been hard for me to stand up for other people because I feel like I'm already a target. It's just easier to do nothing. <laughs> Stop. Dude, ow. Fine. Stop. Fine. Ow. Do you have any friends? Yes, I heard you. What are you even doing here? <laughs> oh, it's too easy. <laughs> ow. Stop. Ow. <laughs> Come on. I get it. Maybe you are a little bit more. Ooh. You think you're special? <laughs> One more opportunity meal. Dude, stop! I just opened it up and it's all smashed. Did you order bullied or unbullied? Bullied or unbullied? Yeah. Do you have a manager that I can speak to? Because that doesn't even make yeah. any sense. Hi, your Hi, how's it going? I was given this. Did you bully this burger? Well, yeah. This is a defenseless Whopper Junior. It can't defend itself. I don't mean anything by it. It's just, just for laughs. Just give me my burger, man. What is going on here? What are you? Is there something wrong with you? Because that's clearly what happened. Can't be serious. Had you seen me bullying this burger, would you have stood up and said something? Yeah. It's good to know. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Yeah. What's your name? Uh, Reese. Hi, Reese. We're just having fun. You having fun? He's not having fun. So therefore, I think you guys should just leave him alone. Later. This feels better to me. Have you ever been like messed with before?
before. Oh my god, it's like the ideal world is where if somebody else sees like something weird happening, that they'll come over and be like, "Hey, <laughs> this is not okay." Yeah, to feel defenseless. That's that's the one of the worst things in the world. Chelsea came and she would just tell them that it's not okay because it isn't. Something I'll never forget is my friend standing up for me. I've been that kid, so if I see it, I'm gonna I'm gonna do something about it. And I hope there's more people out there like that. Alright, this video truly illustrates what we're working towards in terms of building a community here at Poly. Alright, and what we want to really emphasize is that those Poly statistics showed that 84, 85% of you want to intervene, that you know that you want to help people that are going through being bullied or sexually harassed. It's just that we don't practice it and we're not sure exactly how to do it. So this is going to be a short uh, lesson on what it is to be an ally and then the rest of the month through October and actually the rest of the school year we're gonna work on skills as a community that's gonna make it easier to do what you want to do which is is help people show that empathy alright so what is an ally an ally is an individual who sees wrong and takes action a person that takes a stand against an act of injustice or intolerance right when an ally sees or hears about someone being bullied harassed or intimidated they speak up being an ally is being a hero we are standing up for what is right and we're doing our best to help support and protect someone who is being hurt alright are you ready to be an ally I know you are alright everyone knows that we all need to do our part to put an end to bullying but it's not always easy to know when and how to get involved so first think about your goals you want to get it to stop or cool off. That's the first thing. You want to support the target, the person that's being bullied or harassed. And really super important, keep yourself and others safe from harm. Are you prepared? Are you prepared to stand up for what you believe is right? Are there others who will support your actions? Do you know what to do if you become a target? That's what we're, we're actually going to put together a uh, webinar uh, later this month where all of you are going to be invited, whoever wants to come, and we're going to do a workshop basically and practice the skills of being an ally. And it serves your purpose for a lifetime, okay? What can you do as an ally? You can confront the situation, but not be confrontational. You get what I'm saying? You're going to confront the situation, put an immediate stop to the bullying by making a strong statement. That's not cool. We don't do that here, all right? Challenging intentions, it's not a joke, it's cruel, it's really just being mean. Expressing how it feels, that really hurts, that's hurtful, you're hurting that person. Or pointing, pointing out the consequences, I'm going to report this, we're going to report this as a group. Okay. Next, help the target, get the target to a safe space, ask if they're, they're okay, and then offer solutions. Right, and we're going to show you later who all you can go to and go with them to get help. Find other allies, enlist others to take action with you. There's strength in numbers three or more people saying stop or standing up in other appropriate nonviolent ways is way more powerful than one, and that's what we're going to do. We're building a community. Interrupt the cycle, stop cruelty by refusing to forward or laugh at or like hurtful messages or even respond to bullying with more bullying. That doesn't do anything other than keep things going. So, like we said at the beginning, we're stronger together. We're building this community of anti-bullying and anti-sexual harassment. These behaviors are not tolerated at Poly High School. We do not have to endure bullying or harassment. All right. And remember, reporting is not snitching. It's just not. And you can report anonymously if needed. You can report to the principal, the assistant principal, counselors, school psychs, me at the care center. Um, 
and you're going to get all our information here in just a minute, just a second. And other school staff, CSOs, um, obviously, goodness sakes, your teachers are the first people a lot of times that you trust, right? So there you go. So here's our poly administrators, Mr. Salas, our principal, Mr. Brown, our vice principal. These are our assistant principals, Ms. Young, Dr. Jackson, and Ms. Cargyle. We have Mr. Schock on the right, who's our dean of students and our boys athletic director. Mr. Puth, our activities director. Amazing. These are our amazing poly counselors, right? Mr. Acosta, Ms. Arredondo, Ms. Scott, Ms. Zapanta, Mr. Wong, Ms. Valdez, and Mr. Temple. Super helpful all the time. And then we have our amazing school psychologists, Ms. Porter and Mrs. Escalante. They do so much for so many. And then there's me, the care center um, counselor, and this is the distance learning phone number for my office, so to speak, office. You can call or text it anytime, all right? Or you can email me. And everyone else's contact information is there. Your teacher will be able to um, slow this down and, and pause the video so that you can take down this information. All right, these are resources that you can use to really help in any type of need that you might have, the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline. And your teacher can pause um, the video and make sure you get this information down, right? The GLBT National Youth Talk Line, the LGBTQ uh, IA Center for uh, Long Beach, the Trevor Project, the Youth Crisis Line. These folks will help you. We will help you. You're not alone. I promise you. We, we want you to understand that we're earning your trust. We know we need to earn your trust. So reach out to us. Friends, allies, don't let people go through this alone, man. Reach out to us on behalf of your friend. We'll keep it confidential the best that we can for real, right? Okay. Thanks for listening. Thanks for hanging in there with this. And we really, really love you guys. All right. Have a good rest of the day. All right. Bye.